channel. Whee! <laughs> um, I can't believe we're doing this. This is I, kind of exciting. This and you know, <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure how we got into this, but yay! <laughs> yay! Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with us, I'm Garrett, aka Coffee Stitcher. Um, and I am Katie, aka the Stash Queen. And we um, we're the two admins of Stitch Mania. Um, it's a group on Facebook that I think the vast majority of y'all are probably in. Um, or at least have heard of. <laughs> or have at least heard of. Um, primarily, I think, in relation to our annual challenge in May, where originally the goal was you start a new start for the first 15 days in May, but it very quickly expanded to being whatever you consider to be mania. Um, and we started that five years ago in uh, May of 2015. Mm -hmm. It was me and another person. Actually, it was two other people. Um, but they decided that it was bigger than what they wanted to deal with, and Katie graciously stepped in, and then it sort of, then I got a job that didn't allow me to focus as much on Facebook, so she kind of has been the main, the main runner of things um, for the last five years, I'm eternally grateful for that. Well, I'm happy to help. It's been a wonderful experience. <laughs> six years of mania. I mean, we founded five years ago, but we've done six manias now. Yeah. That's uh, insane. It's a lot, um, and I don't think I have it any other way. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so we, uh, you can find us on Facebook. There's the hashtag on Instagram of Stitch Mania, and it's Mania with a Y, and a lot of people, I think, don't realize that, um, and it's because originally it was because it's in May, so May Mania, it was a nice little pun. Um, so when you look for it, it's M-A-Y-N-I-A. And we'll have um, a link in the description box below to the Stitch Mania group, which mm -hmm. brings us to a good point. Um, we have people request all the time to join Stitch Mania, and we have three questions that everyone has to answer in order to come in. Uh, the third question is worded in a very specific way, and if that question is not answered in that very specific way, it is, we consider it to not be answered. Um, and then we also require that the rules be acknowledged. Now we do understand that there are times where people don't see the rules acknowledgement. Um, I think it's primarily when they're on an Android portable device, like a phone or something like that. Um, so if you have that problem, let us know and we can look into it. But uh, you will not be allowed into Mania unless you answer all three of the questions and check the rules, unless you contact either one of us, one reason or another. So if you request and you get rejected, that's one of the reasons, that's the only reason why. Yeah. And, uh, the, and usually the big reason seems to be because they don't, you have to acknowledge the rules. Right. But again, if that feature, because I know Facebook mobile can be very, very buggy about certain things. Yes. Um, if, you, if it's not there as an option for you, screenshot us and let it screenshot and let us know and we'll we'll be happy to work with you yeah. um because we understand facebook is facebook <laughs> <laughs> the only way to really put it Pretty Mom much. Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah but that's you know if you get requests or if you get rejected always feel free to re-request or contact us and reach out and we'll be happy to help you if we need to mm -hmm. so, so we thought we would start this this lovely back and forth <laughs> <laughs> going back way old school to the know your needleworker tag uh, because it has even though a lot of you already know Garrett or I either from our old or our previous floss tube videos or through stitch mania or through Instagram or however you may know us it's been a long time since either one of us have done this tag and we kind of thought it would be interesting to go back and do the tag again for those of you who don't know us or don't know us as well as you may think Yep. And uh, also, for those that are probably wondering, this is not going to replace my weekly floss tube videos. Um, I haven't filmed today's because I slept too late. Um, <laughs> so that one will be coming a little later today. Uh, I'm not going back to weekly ones. I'm not. So, but I'll, <laughs> and I'll still be doing my weeklies. Um, but this will be a good point that I can point because a lot of the questions do get re-asked fairly regularly. Mm -hmm. So this is a good place for me to point to as well so all right so let's start so the first question is where do you live texas <laughs> Texas. we we actually live about an hour and a half away from each other and so that's kind of 
fun, random, and cool. So we do I, occasionally get get together. It's, we're on the different sides of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Um, it's been a while since we've been able to get together in person. Uh, you know, thanks COVID. But you know, hopefully one of these days we'll actually be able to get together in person. And yes, if we do, we will do a video in person together somehow. Whenever we that used means. to do them anytime we did get together. We did. And they were all usually fun. The, and usually they're all, look what we bought at the Stitch Niche. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we do spend a lot of money when we go. And quite probably the video will take place maybe in the Stitch Niche. It, it just might. <laughs> uh, Future plans, like it, way down the line. <laughs> yeah. Once, well, first we've got to be able to go back into the Stitch Niche. That's that the is, yeah, that's kind of an important uh, step first. <laughs> yes. Uh, but we'll get there. Eventually. Uh, second question is, what do you do for a living? I am a stay-at-home mom, which is one reason why I'm able to do more of the hands-on day-to-day with mania, because I am at home and able to get to it a little bit faster than Garrett can while he's working. Um, I work for a community bank. Um, I do back office stuff, so I'm not face-to-face. -face. Um, and I do some social and digital media. Um, and it's not really all I can say because I can just hear my boss screaming about confidentiality. Don't say so, anything else. <laughs> so, so I do I do back office stuff. So I'm I'm in a little cubicle. Um, currently, we've had to move uh, do fruit basket turnover, and I'm sitting in one little lonely cubicle off by myself that we refer to as Siberia. Um, but that's okay because I got to take my tchotchkes with me. So as long as as long as I have my my custom Carol Channing pop figure and my Linda Belcher, I'm pretty much okay. You know, it's the little things in life, right? It really is. Oh, and my ghost, but that's another story. Okay then, another time. <laughs> All right, Katie, do you have any children? I do. <laughs> I have two kids. <clears throat> Excuse me, Saharan dust and allergies, man. My daughter, the Stash Princess, is 14 now and will be a I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And we'll be a freshman in high school this fall, however school looks this fall. And then my son, the Stash Prince, is now 10. Again, I, I don't know how they got so old so fast. And he will be starting fifth grade in the fall. Garrett? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no children. No. For one thing, I don't have the birth of him. <laughs> and for another, I would be a phenomenally bad parent. Oh, I don't think that's the case. Your, um, your puppies would argue differently. Yes. Which is which the next we, question. Yes. Do you have um, we, have, we have two dogs uh, that are our own, and then my mother-in-law lives with us, so she, we actually have her two dogs. So there's four dogs, uh, two Shih Tzus, which are hers, and then ours, Remy is a, uh, who's the one you've probably seen the most if you've watched my videos, because he'll actually sit in my lap, um, and he is a, we're pretty sure a sporting Lucas Terrier, they're both rescues, so we don't really know for sure, but he looks the most like a sporting Lucas Terrier. You could always Phoebe, do <laughs> huh? you can always do the doggy DNA tests. We did the Google one where you can take their picture and they like analyze it. Phoebe, they couldn't come up with anything for her. We're pretty sure she's got some Jack Russell and some Poodle. We think some Yoda because when her ears, hair grows out, she gets Yoda ears. Of course. Um, when she's shaved, she's white, black, and red. And when her hair grows out, she's just white and black. No green. Uh, no, no green. Um, so she's not two zebras fighting over a pickle. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's kind of a, they're, they're both very, very sweet. Um, but those are my two babies. And then I have one who is Lily. And when we got her three years ago, we thought she was primarily Rhodesian Ridgeback. Then we actually did do one of the doggy DNA tests. My husband got one for cheap on Black Friday sale last year. So we did the doggy DNA test. She has absolutely no Rhodesian Ridgeback in her. Oh. <laughs> she is equal parts 
see if I remember all of them, and I probably don't. Uh, American Staffordshire Terrier. Uh, the, uh, oh God, I'm forgetting them all now. Chow Chow. Um, another uh, Australian Sheepdog. I mean, she's basically like all of the protective hunter. I mean, they had Wolf in there. They had... Oh, she, she's just the, this big red mutt who likes to bark at anything that comes at our door. So uh, where, which I'll say right now, I'm recording in my husband's office, which is right by our front door. So if someone dares to walk in front of our front door and the dog sees them, or when she gets pestered by her nemesis, the bunnies, which she happened to catch one two days ago, which was lovely. Oh. <laughs> um, if, she, if you hear barking in the background, that's Lily. She's a very yeah, sweet our, very loud. <laughs> Ours are, are definitely barky bears. Um, and uh, so when my mother-in-law comes in from the store, I'm sure we'll hear a cacophony of, of barking. Oh, well, it's all the puppies. Because we're, we're in a smallish apartment, so it travels. I understand. Uh, all right, so what are your hobbies besides stitching? You can go first. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, right, that was my question. Yeah, okay, yeah, haha. -ha. Making sure we're asking right. Uh, hobbies besides stitching. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of hobbies. I collect Oz books. That's really my thing. Um, I also run an Oz Facebook group uh, called The Yellow Book Road. Uh, and then I have an Instagram for my Oz book collection called Road of Yellow Books. Um, but that's probably my. Well, and I like to cook. Um, I'm the chef of the family. But that's less a hobby and more a function that I perform, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but sure. it, it's less of a, oh, I'm bored today. Let's see what I can come up with in the kitchen so much as we need to eat tonight. Let's see what I can come up with in the kitchen. We must have food. How am I mm -hmm. prepare some food so we can eat it? <laughs> mm, food. Yes. Enjoy it. That's pretty much my attitude towards towards cooking. I don't enjoy it, but one of those, we must eat something and it can't be raw. So what are we going to <laughs> Oh, it could be. You know, there's that okay. guy in Tennessee that lives on a completely raw meat diet. Okay, okay moving on. Um, my, <laughs> other hobby, <laughs> my other hobbies, um, I like to read. Uh, I am big on playing uh, my Nintendo Switch, which is what has occupied a lot of my time when I haven't been stitching. Uh, Animal Crossing, all the way. Uh, Great game. It's an amazing game, and it's, it came out at the most perfect, fantastic time that it could ever come out. And it even has stitchy little furniture and stuff, so you can have like your own stitchy room. I'm very much freaked out over that. Um, but other than that, it's you know, I, stitching, reading, and uh, playing on my Switch are pretty much my hobbies. Which you know, in pandemic life, that's pretty much all you can do. So, what is your favorite movie? I'll go first. Princess Bride. Garrett. Great movie. Great movie. Uh, <laughs> I movie. I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. <laughs> uh, Have fun storming the castle. God, I love that movie. Um, mine is, uh, if you don't know already, mine is The Wizard of Oz, um, followed very, very closely. Right, <laughs> followed very closely by the Great Muppet Caper. Okay, that's a good one. Because there's just something about Kermit and Fozzie and Gonzo and Piggy in a jewel heist movie that breaks the fourth wall completely left and right. <laughs> that just thrills my little heart so much. Well, there you go. I'm I'm so happy for you. <laughs> what is your favorite TV show? Um, go for it. Do you want to go first? Oh, okay, go. my 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 favorite TV show is I've kind of got a, a handful of them. Um, I really love Community, the Joel McHale sitcom from a couple of years ago. I adore the Brady Bunch for Alice, um, and Scooby Doo. Those are probably kind of my my three favorites, and I like Golden Girls and Friends and all that too. But the ones I watch over and over again are primarily Scooby Doo. If I'm going to say I have a favorite, it'll probably be Outlander, um, which is amazing, or Doctor Who. 
I haven't watched as much Doctor Who. I haven't necessarily enjoyed the latest Doctor as much as I hoped I would, but I love the earlier seasons of it. I am a Whovian. Uh, but other than that, we we binge watch a lot of shows uh, here, and, and we're binge watching right now. Um, we're in the middle of Twelve Monkeys, the TV show, which is really good and really compelling and kind of very timely, all things considered, when there's <laughs> global pandemic and people people need to stop coming back in time and trying to change stuff. They keep making it worse in 2020. I'm just saying, mm. just stop with the uh, time travel, man. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're currently we just finished Lucifer, which oh, I was love fantastic. Lucifer. I love Lucifer. So good. Um, and then I'm not sure what we're, we've got to figure out what we're going to start tonight. Um, I think we talked about Little Fires Everywhere. I haven't um, seen that one. That one, we it's on Hulu. So, okay. well, it's uh, called Monkeys. I just we haven't watched okay. that. Yet. Yeah. Um, so, I, but I don't I don't know for sure what we'll start. Yeah. Well, Twelve Monkeys has my recommendation. Excellent. I will throw that in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your favorite book? I am big on the Harry Potter series. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, there's also another book that's called The Red Tent by Anita Diamant that I read at least once a year. It is a um, telling of a person who is in the Old Testament in the Bible, uh, a woman uh, who, uh, if you know the story of Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, biblical and musical version, it's his one sister that the book is about. And okay. uh, it follows her journey specifically. And it is wonderful and compelling. And I read it at least once a year. Um, my favorite book, um, is one I go back to a lot because it was very important to me in high school. Mm -hmm. I have not read it since high school. So full disclaimer there that I might pick it up now and go, why the hell did I think this was so fabulous? <laughs> but high school me, for me, it was The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chopsky. Okay. Uh, and I also really love Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Um, those are probably the two that I kind of go back to. As much as I do love the Oz books and the Harry Potter books. Um, those left the, more of an impact, it sounds like. Yeah, those left much more of a stronger impact on my life, where the others were more of an enjoyable, like, frequent reread. Sure. I feel the same way. I got that. Um, what is your favorite music? For me, it's show tunes. <laughs> Particularly the Broadway musicals of the 1960s and 70s, or anything featuring Carol Channing. Of course. Um, I also like show tunes. You know, Hamilton is being sung in this house rather commonly these days. Uh -huh. um, I also like, you know, whatever's the pop show, the pop music going on. I like Taylor Swift. I like Panic at the Disco. I like, you know, groups like that. Anything that I can kind of just, you know, dance to, sing along with. I'm pretty much, but show tunes, that's when I was, when I was growing up, I would shut the door to my bedroom and, and turn the music up really loud and pretend that no one could hear me singing along to my soundtracks of Tommy and Les Mis and Fan of the Opera, and all that sort of thing. And while you were doing that, I was overdoing a chorus line. Well, I had that too. I had a chorus line yeah. too. <laughs> Chor chorus line was, one, was my big one, Into the Woods, because I wanted yeah. to be Bernard Peters. And then anything goes because I wanted to be Patty Lapone. Well, there you go. Uh, Show tunes are so, awesome. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. And then one last question is: What is one word that best describes you? This is always the hard one of the because everything else is like, oh, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. One word best to describe me, I would say, probably unflappable. It takes a lot to get under my skin. Um, and if you get under my skin, it's not pretty. <laughs> it happens. But it does take quite a bit to get under my skin. And I have learned to have um, that the person whose opinion of myself or of me matters most to me is my own opinion, my husband's opinion, and my children's opinion. And as long as they are happy with me, then you know what? 
if you don't like me, see ya. If you don't like what I say, what I do, that's your problem, not mine. For me, I, as much as I would love to say that eccentric <laughs> is the best word for me, I don't have enough money to be eccentric. So I'm just weird. <laughs> Oh, but but in a, you, you, you want to be the eccentric millionaire? You're just missing the millionaire. Yes, I would love to be. I would love to be anti mame, but I don't have the money to be anti mame. So instead, I'm just that weirdo. I am gone. So. We, we love you anyway, Garrett. True. <laughs> As we drink our drinks, yes, Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. That hasn't changed. Late enough in the day for coffee. Uh, later in the day, I didn't actually even get coffee today because I slept so late. Good Lord, Garrett. Yeah. Well. I took a melatonin last night because uh, I wanted to, got one that was like this time release one. Yeah. And I thought, oh, well, maybe this will help me stay asleep. And I only took one. It was two milligrams. Certainly helped me stay asleep. <laughs> it's not the problem this time. So. You did take it a little bit earlier than you took it last night. Uh, yeah, because I definitely did not really get up until 11 this morning. <laughs> oh, well. To Sunday. Not like we had anything important to do today or anything, Gary. Right? Like, like this. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so that is now your need worker. Yep. And that is us. And case in point, my mother in law just came home. <laughs> There's the dogs. Yep. Our wonderful doorbells. Yep. All right, moving on. All right, so. The next thing we're going to discuss today is why we've created this show. We don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because we felt like it. <laughs> um, okay, so the reason we created it was we felt like there was an opening in the community um, because we we notice um, in Mania a lot that there is there's a lot of calls for various different things. Um, there's a lot of call for diversity. Um, there's that new, uh, there's the, the current, and I think it's just more of an ongoing sal for the inclusivity um, and diversity. Um, and we'll throw that hashtag down there too. And representation um, matters. Yeah, and representation matters. There's a huge call for that. There's a huge call. Um, we see a lot of times where people will feature designers that they found on Etsy or online. And people go, well, my LNS doesn't carry this. Where do I find this? Who is this person? Um, and we wanted to really take a moment to try and spotlight uh, those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, find the designers, find the stitchers, find the people out there that are, that are a diverse group um, versus just solely focusing on the status quo. Mm -hmm. um, because there are so many wonderful things out there in both the needlework world beyond just cross-stitch. Um, and there's so many fabulous dyers and designers that a lot of people just don't know. Yeah. Um, you know, and some of it is the, they may have an online presence only. Some of it may be they don't have an LNS. And some of it may just be that you've got an LNS that they know their demographic is primarily the, you know, the, the Plum Street sampler and Little House Needlework, which that's totally fine. We love But, it. you know, we, we still want to try and include as many people and as diverse a group as we can. So our goals, like Garrett was saying, for the type of guests that we want, we want to have designers of all shapes and sizes, uh, meaning the big designers that, you know, headline at Nashville, and we all look forward to getting at our LNS to the smaller people who are just trying to get off the ground, who may not have as much of a following yet, or like Garrett was saying, is a more of a Etsy online presence or Facebook group presence even, as opposed to the ones who are much more commonly known when you walk into an LNS or you shop on 123 Stitch or something along those lines. But not only designers, we want to talk to floss tube personalities who are helping make an impact on the floss tube community because there are, even since, you know, Garrett and I started Floss Tube, which, you know, way back in the day, mm -hmm. there are, it's every other day, someone new is popping up. And while that's wonderful and fantastic, it's become one of those that it's easy to get lost in the crowd anymore. Mm -hmm. 
And we want to be able to highlight people who may not otherwise get the highlighting or recognition either because they're new or they just haven't found the right audience yet. So we want to talk to those uh, individuals. We want to talk to Instagram personalities, same sort of thing. There are some people whose sole focus with stitching is on Instagram. Um, and they don't do Facebook or they don't do floss tube. And we'd love to highlight some of those people, you know, fabric designers, floss designers, uh, dye and dyers, people uh, of all the, all, every corner of the stitching universe, we want to be able to cover. Um, mm -hmm. We think it is important and we think that there are, um, there's so much more out there than what, uh, is very recognizable in stitching and it is the whole community has grown so much even in the last five years since we started mania we want to be able to highlight those people and you know let you guys know about them and sometimes we're learning about them too and which we think is fantastic mm -hmm. um you know and we're to go along with that we're looking for all just about everyone out there that's that we can you know particularly we do want to focus on members of the lgbtq plus the the bipoc community people from outside the us because there are a lot of international stitchers and designers um you know we really want to shine a focus on them uh, because it gives an opportunity that doesn't always exist um and right now that representation really does matter Absolutely. Uh, so we're we're basically we're we're basically looking for just about anyone and everyone. Yeah. Uh, we do have our we do have our our you know we've got a we've got a list compiled. <laughs> uh, Started. Yeah, we've got we've got a list going um, that I keep adding to do as people come to me. Yeah, and um, it, I mean it's also going to include things. Even though Garrett and I are both primarily cross stitchers. Um, Stitch Mania as a group, we have long had, held the stance of as long as you're doing something with a needle and thread, we welcome you on board. So, mm -hmm. you know, cross stitch, so there may be cross stitch, there may be embroidery, there may be gold work, there may be black work, there may be people who are focused on uh, craftivism, there may be. Uh, Belt know, applique. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, all of those lace making. I've seen a couple of people in our group who have posted when they've done their lace making, and that's just fascinating to me and I'm like mm -hmm. how do you do that that's insane mm -hmm. so while we are not um while we are primarily a cross stitch familiar we are going to talk to people who may not be doing cross stitch and maybe using some other sort of uh focus with their needle and thread that we want to show those off as well mm -hmm. um you know the the whole uh, the whole idea is to be to try and take what we've done with Stitch Mania, the group, and make it a talk show. Um, so, Fine. yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, and we're gonna have, like in Stitch Mania, there's gonna be topics that are gonna come up that include social political issues, how they impact the community, how they impact us as individuals. Um, you know, so yeah, there's gonna, we're, we're not gonna turn it into, you know, like, an NPR political show. We're not going to be going West Wing weekly on this, but there is going to be topics like that. Yeah. Um, and we'll try if we feel like an episode is going to be very heavy on it to, you know, say, okay, well, from this point to this point, if you don't want to, if, you, if you're not interested or you don't want to listen to that, here's where you need to skip to. Yeah. Um, but we're not going to shy away from it either. Yeah, we, we don't believe that uh, things such as Black Lives Matter uh, is something that is political. We believe human rights aren't politics. And we believe that uh, people, you know, need to be able to see what is going on around them and not just hide away in a safe space. And granted, we're not going to make this, you know, not safe space, but we're going to talk about reality. And mm -hmm. you know, if we're going to be highlighting all of these different sorts of individuals uh, in as our guests because of our shared love of needlework, uh, which is ultimately what binds us all together, we are still going, we're not going to shy away from topics that may be heavy or may be hard to hear. 
And as we have said in Mania, if that is something that is not of any interest to you, we will tell in the videos. Uh, in Mania, we say scroll on by or find a better group for you that will fit and don't, doesn't allow that sort of topic. They're out there. There are plenty of groups out mm -hmm. there that don't allow anything but stitching. And more power to them. Good luck with your groups. Um, same thing with the videos here. Like Garrett said, we will make notes of uh, as best as we can technical aspects we're still learning <laughs> um, we're going to be putting you know that sort of thing on there if we feel it's going to be a big focus of the of the video for a week or if we're whenever we're posting the videos don't say week katie <laughs> um but you know it's it's not something we're going to shy away from and if that's not something you ever want to have a risk of running into thanks for checking us out We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's no hard feelings. We're no. not, it's not going to hurt our feelings if you don't like us. Nope. Um, so don't, don't worry about that. And we're, most importantly, we're here to have fun. Obviously, mm -hmm. as you're being, as you can tell, with this banter back and forth that we're trying to, you know, have as some sort of semblance of organized and coherent and cohesive. <laughs> We organized still, chaos yeah exactly we're, we're still having fits of giggles and goofiness mm -hmm. and that's because anytime garrett and i get together that is what happens that mm -hmm. is and that is not going to be something that stops so ultimately no. we want to have fun and if he and i aren't having fun doing this then we're not going to continue it yeah uh, so you. that's that's kind of you know we we're here for the fun Mm -hmm. um we're here to learn of course um you know and i'm excited to get to talk to and meet all sorts of different people and have them on the show i think that's that's gonna be really awesome and i'm going to totally make myself into a 1980s barbara walters for my interview <laughs> and he, he we'll he, see it, it, it's no, it, we'll see uh-huh that's that's gonna happen garrett it eggs uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a whole thing um and God I'm knows an adult. <laughs> yeah. Katie is the adult. I'm the weirdo. Uh, so, and God knows what I'm going to look like each week. Uh, much like the first episode of Golden Girls with the gay chef. God only knows if I'm going to look like this next time. We'll see. You never know. Stick around for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> All right. Do you have plans? Uh, uh, so future plans for now, we're going to stick to doing pre-recorded shows versus live while we figure out how this all works. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. A hundred percent of this is on Katie <laughs> because I have the technical skills of a, like a drunk three-year-old. Um, See well, I figure out the technical stuff. <laughs> I'm just the pretty face. Exactly. Uh, um, so we're going to start, we do want to do live episodes. Um, I don't know how often we will do live episodes, um, but we, we definitely want to try and do that eventually and see if that's something that we can do. Um, um, we've also had, which shocked and surprised us and was not remotely oh expected when we <laughs> announced that we were going to do this, we have had a lot of people already and companies already reach out to us and indicate that they do want to sponsor and help us and help support us with the show, which we think is wonderful and phenomenal. And we appreciate everyone. I'm blown out. away. I know. It was kind of like, wait, what? Huh, it was what? like, wait, what? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> and then a whole lot of flailing as I figured out yeah. what I sponsor needed to be. Exactly. Uh, um, but we also know the importance of w when sponsors are taking on the role of sponsoring something like this, we want to make sure uh, before anyone actually, we take anyone up on their offer to sponsor, you know, get a few shows down, see if we're your cup of tea, if you still want to sponsor <laughs> beyond just what you would known of us um, from previous videos or from Stitch Mania in general. Uh, so there's not going to be sponsors on the here for a little while, at least until we are comfortable enough with saying, this is who we are. This is what the show is going to be like. Are you still interested in sponsoring? But they will be coming. Um, so if you are thinking about it, you're, if you own a business and you would like to be considered as a potential sponsor for the future, please feel free to reach out to us. Just understand that it's not going to be something that either Garrett or I are comfortable yet with taking on, both for our sakes and for yours. Uh, we 
want to make sure that these are going to be productive and effective partnerships um, before we take any sort of formal stuff like that, because that's a step up from just your crazy duo floss tube show. Yeah. Um, but, and because some of that as well is because at the end of the day, it's your business is significantly more important to us okay. than our talk show is. Totally. So <laughs> we don't want to ever put anyone in any kind of position where they have to wonder, is this something that I, that's worth it? So giving us the time to find our feet mm -hmm. gives you the same opportunity to go, you know what? I like them, but I don't think this is a good move for me. Exactly. And again, that's not going to hurt our feelings yeah. any at all because yeah. ultimately we're doing this for, for our fun and for our learning, whereas you're putting food on your table and that's exactly. infinitely. Totally. To yeah, absolutely. Um, we, as of now, we don't have any sort of hard and fast plans mm -hmm. for a release schedule of episodes. Um, we're going to try to do twice a month. Mm -hmm. That does not mean every other week. That no. means twice in a month we're going to try. <laughs> it may be the first day and it may be the last day of the month. We don't really know. We both, um, we both have fairly, even though my, my, um, work schedule is set, the rest of my world is not set. So that can be a little kinky for me. Katie has kids and um, that can change things as well. Yeah, especially, I mean, shockingly, the school year is like five to six weeks away. And mm -hmm. who know in the time that we are in right now, we're still having to decide if we're going to be sending our kids to school in person, or if we're going to be keeping them at home for online learning. And, mm -hmm. you know, regardless, it, we're, we have very crazy, busy lives. So this is important to us, but we don't want to disappoint any of you guys mm -hmm. by saying, we're going to do this every week. And then uh, we skip a week and we, where are you guys? Yeah. Twice a month. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We, we don't want to do that. That's, that's not something we want to put ourselves into. It's not something we want to put y'all into. Yeah. So we may discover that, yeah, we can do it on a biweekly basis, but until we see how this is going to fold into our, our lives, we don't, we don't want to make any commitments to y'all. Right. I mean, we've already that learned. We I, Garrett and I both know how much work goes behind the scenes in setting up a single floss tube video for a single person that's doing it. We've already, I think it's pretty safe to say he and I've already put in a whole lot more work together on this show than either one of us ever put together or, or <laughs> yeah. on one show. So it's, it's a whole My lot more. My are a point and shoot. <laughs> Mine were a little more organized when I did them. <laughs> point and shoot, just go. Whatever happens, happens. It's a little bit harder to do when you're doing it on Zoom. Just saying. Yes. Um, but we also, like we were saying before, we want feedback from you guys. Oh, what do you want to see? Who do you want to see? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you guys know people? Because we, while we run a really large group of international people, we don't know everybody. We no. are going to be doing a whole lot of research on our own. But if you know someone that you think would be fantastic and great for us to talk to, let us know. We have our email address that we for the show that we both have access to. Um, we'll be down in the description below. But let us know, and we'll be happy to reach out and talk with them and see if they might be interested. Like mm -hmm. Garrett said, we do have a running list already of people who have either reached out to us or who we have reached out to um, mm -hmm. for possible future episodes. So um, if you suggest someone to us, and we already have reached out to them. We'll let you know that. That's great. Yep. That we'd like. If we yep. haven't reached out to them or haven't heard of them yet, we'll let you know that we will reach mm -hmm. out to them. If it takes a while to get someone to come on to the show, that just be patient. Yes. <laughs> they, when we start doing guests, we're going to have to organize that with their schedules as well as both of mm -hmm. ours. Um, and if someone decides they don't want to be on the show, just that's fine too. Not a problem. Yep. But we do uh, have feedback from you guys. You guys are the greatest resource out there for finding people that you think would be mm -hmm. interesting for us to talk to. We would like to know what you don't want to see. Now, we don't mean that to say, we don't want to see politics, don't talk about politics. We've already told you that's going to be in the show. But if you are not interested in tutorials, if you aren't interested in, in you know, felt 
you know, making or, and, you know, diamond painting, not the word yeah. diamond painting because it's not stitching, but, you know, just if there's stuff that you really don't think would be um, something you'd want to see, let us know that too. Because we start getting an overwhelming amount of emails that we don't want to see X. Well, then we're not going to do a show about X. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, we, we definitely want to try and get your involved, your, your input as well. Um, if you want to see certain topics, like I know one of the ones we, we've discussed is doing an episode with married couples who are both yeah. stitchers yeah. and what that's sort of like, you know, so if it doesn't necessarily even have to be, well, I want to see, you know, you know, design company A come in and talk about, you know, it can be, hey, why don't you do a show on this? Or exactly. why don't you do a show on that? We, because I mean, Katie and I are fairly uh, fairly creative people but there's a limit to everyone's creativity so we're definitely doing our own research but definitely don't be afraid to show uh, to throw some names out there okay. um, um the so. only the only thing i that we will also say in addition to that um if you do have feedback uh, good, bad, indifferent, whatever it may be, the two best places to provide that feedback to us are either in the comments below, like you do on any other YouTube video, or in the email, that the email address below. Um, it will be very difficult for us to be juggling all of the different communications and such we have going on with Stitch Mania, the group, versus people contacting us there on Facebook or Instagram about the show. Um, so if you do contact us there, don't be upset if we say, hey, appreciate the feedback. Can you shoot an email over to us? Especially if you're giving us, hey, you should go talk to so-and-so about whatever topic. We love it. We want the feedback, but we will direct you to send it to the email because that yeah. way we'll be able to have one centralized location for us yeah, to go look back. Yeah, exactly. And if things won't get lost or if you communicate to one of us and not the other of us, we are very good at communicating with one another, but sometimes I think I have told Garrett something and I didn't and vice versa. So we just want to make sure that we keep everything in as centralized a place for both of us to access as possible. So that would be the only other caveat as far as that goes. Uh, which I guess sort of leads into our closing. Um, so we're going to have links below to both Katie and my Instagrams, mm -hmm. as well as both of our floss tube channels, even though Katie's not doing anything with hers currently. Who knows? Um, for those of you who watch me, there may be, today's video may be already up or it may still be coming because I'm not sure where this is going to fall in the scheme of things. So there's, you may be seeing me twice today. Um, uh, we're also going to have our, obviously we said it a couple of times. Um, the link to our emails, uh, email below, as well as to Stitch Mania, the group below. Um, so it's all going to be down there below in the description box. And like we said, we do want your feedback. So feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends, you know, spread it all over the place. We are excited about this. Um, and I will say for me personally, it's been a very long time since I've been excited about doing something with floss tube. So that's, you know, <laughs> yay. Uh, we will, because we didn't mention it and I just thought of it and I didn't have it in the notes. Um, every so often, I mean, we will sh share things that we have done, pieces, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be like, Garrett's going to be continue doing his weekly videos where he'll show you all of his project on his wi or progress on his whips, you know, any stash he wants to show you, stuff like that. They're not going to be like my old videos where here's every project that I worked on and here's all of the stash that I purchased. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll... We don't have three hours, Casey. We don't have three hours. I made, about, I made three hour videos on my own, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, we'll show things that we like if we finish a piece or if we are when we're talking to different guests, if we have things that we have used of that guest, whether it's patterns or fabrics or flosses or whatever, we'll share that sort of thing. Um, but if uh, if you're looking for something more specific, especially I'll say with me, since I'm not doing my weekly videos at this time. Message me separately and I can see what I can show you later. <laughs> but don't expect this to be a massive of, here's every piece we worked on. Here's right. all the whole. That's not what this is for. So, I don't know. Is there anything else you can think of, Garrett? I think that's it. All right. All right. On that note, we'll see you guys next time. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Or two.
We'll see y'all next time. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>